Reloaded that last save, and let's see what they have to say when I walk up. It's probably not important, but I want to see what it is anyway. What is it? Is there something wrongly wrong, Peppa? S someone shook the gate open. Yeah, not that important. You are Surge. You cannot seriously be serious about coming through the front gate. We're going to shake it to you good and get our revenge. And it is second boss time here. We get a second boss fight almost immediately afterwards. Now, if we go a different route, uh, Salt and Pepper do have friends with them, right? It's not just them most of the time. They have somebody else. Remember, it was Zoa if we went with Nikki. So we'll see if they have somebody this time. The nerve of these guys, thinking they can storm our front gate. This time we ought to give them the shaking they deserve. I agreeingly agree. Today, we brought along a helping hand. Now, uh, the helping hand that they have is awesome. Uh, and I'm gonna let him do his magic. I, I spoiled it that it's a guy, but uh, it raises the question when you see him, where the hell was this guy if you go a different route? Just throwing that out there right now. He's tough, he's mean, and he's really, really big too. Show them what you can do. I said, show them what you can do! Yoo-hoo! Oh, catch up! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Yeah, salt, pepper, and now catch up! Because we need more condiments, I guess. We had the spices, but we need the condiment. Salt is a spice, isn't it? Technically, yes. Tomato! And here is catch up! Catch up! is the strongest thing in the game. Oh, you see? My, my, aren't we strong now? This time we're going to beat you for sure. What a manly man. Sauce. He seems happy, perhaps. Yeah, he took down Surge. Keep in mind, Surge has the prism mail on. I didn't give him like a prism helmet or anything, but that's really no excuse at this point in the game for him to do over 400 damage on a single punch to Surge, who is max level. Ketchup is really strong. He's the strongest thing in the game. Most other enemies, even at the end of the game, do less than 10 damage to Surge on a single basic hit. This guy does over 400. Where the hell was he when we went up the bluffs and when we went through the Shadow Forest? Yes, that's the spirit. Show us what you can do. Go, go, catch up. Try out your special karate catch up on them. Tomato. He seems pumped, perhaps. All right, so uh, we're gonna start by defending here. I don't wanna do anything because Salt will revive you. Hey, what the hell are you doing? What did you heal them for? If uh, you did not die due to that, due to Ketchup missing, uh, if he misses at least twice, you'll live. Well, I will live at this point, but uh, get your first run through, if he hits you, you're done. Uh, but if you don't die for whatever reason, uh, Salts will just use a Cure Plus on you, so uh, it's a heal no matter what. Hey, what the hell are you doing? What did you heal them for? Well, I thought that we all wouldn't get to see how fiercely fierce Ketchup is if they were left exhausted like that. Have you got your priorities straight? Doesn't that defeat our whole purpose? Do it again in your shaken dead meat, Salt. Sauce. He seems angry, perhaps. All right, um, at this point we can actually do a little work, not too much. Not too much. I, I do want to show off Pierre's level level five, but I don't know about this. Th this doesn't look good. We could be shaken here. Hey, Ketchup, why don't you shake and well do something? Tomato. Huh? 
What? What are you doing? And they all go for flame knock. If you haven't been able to tell yet, this is the joke portion of of the game. All right, so we're just up against ketchup now. Is that how this fight goes? All right, Surge, I want you to at least do like a little level one thing here so that you can heal when we're done. After that, I want everybody to defend. Right, because this is winnable. This is, you can win this. Yeah, now he's just doing his base damage again. Like, like what he did to Surge to start this was nothing. All right, uh, let's see if we can get Pierre up to level five here. We'll do the most basic attacks. All right, he's already leaning over. It's time to finish him off with Foiled again. Gracefully score a double touche on foe. Remember, that's just a, a double touch. It's a fencing term. Foiled again. Foil is also a fencing term, so go for it. We're gonna beat him here. Kill Ketchup! And down goes Ketchup! No! He didn't say it, but it looks like he said it. And we win! And we win. Um, it's one of the stranger fights in the game. I, I really don't know what to say about it other than that. Uh, you, I mean, he kills Surge and then he's like, I, I can't attack anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna need pretty much all the recovery stuff that I have now, but uh, everybody's back up. Uh, for this, we get 500 gold, copper, a brace, and silver earring. Uh, also, this is a boss fight, so if you still need summon stars, you can get one here, but I don't need any more. Uh, this would be number five if this is your pr first playthrough, but we, uh, we win. Uh, now... Yeah, we can get the turn yellow there. It doesn't change at all. Uh, we can try to go forward. Now, what I'm going to show off is a lot of stuff that we're going to do inside of Viper Manor now, uh, even though that's it. That's the route for, for Pierre. All the stuff that we did with Nikki in the Shadow Forest, all the stuff that we did with Guile on the Viper Manor Bluffs, that's equivalent to the two fights that we ha had on either side of the gate for Pierre. It's the shortest and most direct route if you don't want to beat around the bush. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Let's head inside. Excusez-moi, but shouldn't we wait until nightfall? Uh, I guess so. Sir, shouldn't we wait until nightfall? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is show off going through uh, Viper Manor without Kid. Uh, now, this works the same way whether Kid is technically in your party or not. And when I say in your party, I mean uh, kind of in the backup part of your party, right? Not in your active party, but in the reserves, so to speak. If she's in the reserves or if she's not in your party, uh, it will be the same here. So it pretty much starts out the same. Are you going to let me through? All right, perfect. Perfect here. Uh, you still need to do everything in order to get inside that we did before, uh, which means going over here and feeding the dragons. I'm not gonna get all of the treasure chests this time because honestly, it does not matter to me anymore. Uh, all the stuff here is very low level and I don't need any more of that. So uh, let's feed the dragons. We'll do it quickly here. Uh, we're only going to do the 10. Do you have a key to the manor? Yes, he does. So let's feed the dragons real quick. We're, we're just gonna do 10. And that's all I care about. I don't need an iron vest or anything like that anymore. All the way over and then 
That's five already. Ah. One, two, and three, and we're done. Good. All right, let's fast forward again. Yeah, I can't really fast forward during that part. Otherwise, bad things are going to happen, but... There we can find the manor key, and we're ready to go again. Uh, now, there are small little cutscenes that we will get with Kid kind of throughout our stay in Viper Manor. Uh, so I do want to show them off. I will cut at some point because, well, when we go to the library, nothing she does is important there. Uh, she actually doesn't do anything there, and it's kind of a long thing. So we'll cut that out, but we still need to fight these guys in order to get inside. These guys should go down quite quickly. Uh, part of me says to put the Dreamer Sarong on Surge just so he can just start a fight with a Luminaire, but it might be faster to do it this way than to actually select Luminaire from uh, the Element Grid. That's how fast we can finish these guys off at this point. I'm kind of strong, just a bit. But like I said, uh, we're gonna show off what happens when you go into uh, Viper Manor without Kid in your active party. Whether she has officially joined your party or not does not matter. There she is, sneaking in alongside us. I'm glad I followed him. Not bad, fellas, not bad. I'll just wait and see how things go. Like I said, whether she has joined your party or not, you will get that if she's not in your active party. All right, there's a knob. It doesn't matter what you put in here. I'll also show you how quickly you can go through the Viper Man. All right, let's try to speed things up a little bit here. Intruders! How'd you get past our security? <laughs> I can't believe you would fall for a trap like this. What should we do with these fools? Go ask the commander. Watch them. Now we can... Do this, enough of your ruckus, quiet up in there. But it's not gonna do anything. What we have to do right now is wait. That's it, that's what we have to do. I swear, that's it, there we go. And eventually Kid will show up to save us. Enough of your ruckus, quiet up in there. All right, do we have to do it again? Yeah, we have to, I said enough. Ugh. We have to provide a distraction for her. What are you guys doing? You're pathetic. The kid bails us out. There, it's open. Gotta learn to take care of yourselves, eh? See ya. Oh, and don't go interfering with me work. And Serge, you can't do bugger all without me, so just take it easy, eh? And now we can kind of leave here. Hey, how'd you get out? And then we get into a fight with these guys. We'll go ahead and kill them very quickly with Surge. Just a one and a one. Hey, look, I did it. <laughs> it goes real quick. Real quick when you have somebody that strong. I will start using the relief charm soon. Uh, it's just... At this point, Surge is honestly one of the better characters, if not the best character that I have right now, but later on, that will not be the case. I already saw a couple characters that I liked more. Nikki, if memory serves me correctly, possibly Fargo, too.